This is a short, so this won't go on my movie reviews or TV show reviews or anything like that, obviously. So it'll just be its own thing, because I doubt I'll be reviewing any shorts anytime soon. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's black and white for most of it, but for the last few minutes, it is not. It revolves around some of the Monster Squad. I, I've read a few of their books, but I know, I don't remember exactly what they're called. And it has Man-Thing, Wolf-Man, and one of my favorite female superheroes ever, Elsa Bloodstone. Though unfortunately, she does not have any of her iconic things. I do think the actor did amazing. And she's probably one of my favorite superheroes that is still alive in the MCU. And I've always liked Elsa Bloodstone. I like Man-Thing more, but he doesn't do too much in this. So for now, Elsa Bloodstone's better. But she doesn't have any of her iconic things, unfortunately. Because when I think of Elsa Bloodstone, I think of ginger hair, which we can't see because it's black and white. But when we do fondly see her, she has brown hair, which sucks. Because that's just something I always think of when I think of Elsa Bloodstone. And she always uses this shotgun. We do see a shotgun in this film, but she does not use it. The girl that tries to kill her is about to use it, and then Man-Thing just pops out of nowhere and kills the girl, and she drops the shotgun. And she doesn't use the shotgun at on anybody. Sucks. But this is a very brutal short for um, it only being TV-14, but it got pretty violent. Is um more violent than a lot of rated R movies I've seen. And just to name a few, it was more violent, just to name a few that I've seen recently. Black Phone and They Slash Them. It's it's a pretty violent movie. It was short. It's fifty five minutes. So I thought it was, you know, long enough to review. Unfortunately, one of the biggest things of I, when I think of a werewolf, but you know, this isn't a werewolf movie, um, is that there's a werewolf transformation. Sadly, it is mostly off screen. The only thing we do is we see the start of it, we see his hands start to like grow a little bit, and then it just kind of cuts. Man thing was pretty cool from what we did see of him was really happy when I actually saw him in color for the last few minutes of the short. But we only see Elsa Bloodstone for like a few seconds. I think Man Thing was probably only a minute. But I do think it's a pretty good short. It revolves around a few hunters supposed to hunt a monster and whoever wins gets the gym or whatever. And two of the hunters get killed. The other one we only see for a few seconds, following Jack and Elsa. Well, just Jack. Jack just happens to bump into Elsa and they get locked in this thing. And then the other hunter we never see at all. We only see him later when Jack and Elsa get captured. And then he gets killed by the werewolf. So clearly they didn't know what to do with that hunter. But I do think Command Thing is a really cool, unique character. So I'm glad he finally got to be in a live action thing, even if it is just a short. I know he's in the Superhero Squad show. So whenever I get the time to rewatch that, I'll probably talk about him in that. Don't remember if it's season one or season two, though. Um. It really isn't too much to talk about since it's a short. 
But, you know, now that I've seen this, it actually reminded me of something. That there was a Man-Thing movie. So I probably will, if it is on any streaming services, watch it. Because like a few years ago, I heard about that. And I heard about the Swamp Thing movies. So, this mo this show, um, short, whatever, was able to remind me that that thing exists. And I've never seen it. So, that will be something to watch, even if it's trash. It, it, it'll be a thing to watch, because I like Man-Thing. Yeah, that's about it.